Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here with some more Grease Pencil updates, this time in Blender 3.2 Alpha. And these are some studies that I did this past weekend. So number one is the brand new Envelope Modifier. The Envelope Modifier creates a shape known as an envelope over the existing strokes connecting all the points that have endpoints between them. So, going to the mode, you have three different modes, Deform, Segments, and Fills. I went back to the Segment mode, but off camera, I was playing around with the settings. You can adjust the spread length, the thickness, the strength, the material index, the skip segments, and all the options under Influence. Update number two is lower bounds for gap and dot dash modifier. So in the dot dash modifier, if you go to the gap, a new update is you can now change it to zero, which you couldn't do in previous versions. One reason why they made this update, according to the website, is you can chop up lines without gaps now. So you can't really see it with my drawing, so let me go to the Blender website. And right here, in their examples, you can see the gap is at zero. Hmm, that's a cool effect. I need to personally play around more with the dot dash modifier. I'm still in the dot dash modifier. If you look at the very bottom, that's update number three. You have this new option to use cyclic per segment. So I'm gonna go in and play with the settings before I turn it on so you can see the difference. And let me zoom in a little bit. And now I'm gonna turn on the option I know there's a technical definition, but the best way for me to describe it is it connects all the loose ends to make a triangle. To better see it, I'm going to go back to the Blender website. Hopefully this example in Blender can better understand what I was trying to say by connecting all the loose ends to make this triangle shape or teardrop shape. The last update is a little bit more subtle. Its scale thickness is now visible in the pivot menu. So I, to show you the difference, I'm in Blender 3.1 and I'm in edit mode and I'm gonna click the shortcut, which is period. So right now with the pivot point, you have five different options. So now I'm going to go to the most current version, Blender 3.2 alpha. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, the shortcut. And now you have six options with the option to scale stroke thickness. Well, those are the four updates for Blender 3.2 Alpha. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.